Crying Seal, uh, one of my viewers, asked me to get a Royal Scythia um, matchup. Oh my god, what a big mistake. This is Unit Ban Beta Round 1 Game 2, me versus Wally. I, uh, the first match was RDI versus Rome, was a very interesting match. And with the second game, I decided to take Royal Scythia. And I decided uh, to take Nemerosena Winter because uh, all of the Scythians are resistant to cold so that would give me a stamina boost versus most other factions. Wally I has decided to go Gedai. So he is in a huge, huge um, pickle here because Gedai is definitely not the type of faction that you want uh, to use uh, to face up against Royal Scythia. Gedai has no precur has no spears which have precursor javelins. They have cool spears in the heavy spears unit. Uh, shout out to my unit review on the heavy spears. I like them a lot. Um, even though I thought that they were, if if you're going to name something heavy spears, why would you give them medium mass? What is up with CA man? <laughs> Some of the things they do is just retarded. Um, so I took Royal Skithia. He decided to ban. Uh, the 750 talent Step Noble Lancers and the 1000 talent Royal Horse Archers, which is the Step Noble Lancers I can understand. I'm not really sure why he banned this, the Royal Horse Archers um, when he could have easily banned these guys, the Scythian Royal Horse, which is basically the pride of uh, Royal Scythia. Uh, they have Draco. They're the only unit in the in the uh, in the roster that has Draco, and they have very very decent stats. 95 armor as well, 43 charge bonus, very, very good units. Uh, costs a lot though, 1200 talents for them is very, very expensive, very heavy too. So yeah, not really sure why he decided to go with the uh, expensive horse archers. And he decided to pick Gerai, which is again, faction disadvantage, big faction disadvantage for him. And he also decided to, uh, or, and I decided to further cripple them by removing Dacian heavy skirmishers and uh, noble spears so the strongest spear from the uh, in their roster is gone and he cannot spam javelins which is uh, probably the biggest threat to royal skithia uh, here my skithian noble women are destroying his bow horsemen i was hoping he'd bring bow horsemen because all i'm going to do is bring 150 range horse archers like these skithian noble women royal skithia has a ton of 150 range horse archers and they will outrange these guys any day of the week you can see these bow horsemen really cannot match these guys uh, the Scythian noble women are medium so they are slower but it doesn't matter as long as I keep a fair distance away from them the bow horsemen are dead as you can see here uh, and by bringing bow horsemen against the nomads you are trying to go aggressive against a faction that is that just excels at being aggressive and excels at being mobile so it's always it's a big mistake to bring them I didn't want to ban uh, the the uh, and here you can see I'm going for a kind of an envelope using my two step armored lancers uh, to hold off the sides while my royal horse general charges into these bow horsemen just so that they won't be able to move anywhere. <laughs> Gonna try and do the same thing over there. Uh, so you, I purposely didn't ban Dacian heavy bow, uh, Dacian heavy bowmen uh, because I don't uh, care about archers. Archers have a have a high arc which is very easy to escape uh, if you have horse archers and I would honestly prefer if he wasted money on the Dacian heavy bowmen um, because they really wouldn't be of much use. I was very afraid of the Dacian heavy skirmishers because once I charge in with my with my shock cab the Dacian heavy skirmishers can put such a hurt on them especially since I don't have the step noble lancers and I, I'm forced to bring uh, eight or no six of these very cheap step armored lancers for 550 talents. They are good units but they won't win you a game on their own and especially if the opponent has uh, is brought like five or six javelin units it's going to be very hard for me to win the game so that's why I decided to ban the Dacian heavy skirmishers. So one of the bow horsemen has around 13 units left. I've already circled around. Let's put this in tactical map. Here you can see I've got one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Scythian uh, noble women, medium horse arches, and there's a sixth one behind my lines, keeping it for late game. Uh, I've, I've divided my uh, troops into sort of three contingents. You can see a step armored lances and a royal horse here. Two step armored lances and a royal horse there. And a step uh, and a royal horse here, royal horse general here, and one, two step armored lancers. So I'm trying to keep my royal horse with my step armored lancers so that I can use Draco uh, on the enemy spears, remove their bracing bonuses, and then charge in with my armored lancers against a uh, an unbraced um, spear that doesn't have much bonus versus cavalry. 
let's see what Walia has brought. He's uh, staggered his army quite well. Uh, he's brought three heavy spears. He doesn't have any money. Uh, so he had too much money, clearly. That's why he decided to go with triple uh, chevrons for them. That's a lot of money to be spent, to be quite honest. Three heavy spears, three challenge, uh, three mercenary Thracian peltas, uh, three more heavy spears, so a total of six heavy spears, and one, two, three armored spears, four, five, six armored spears, and a noble swords general. So now he has no long range option, and I have a, a fuck ton of 150 range skirmishers. Even with heavy shot, they'll be able to outrange the, the peltas as long as I'm careful. The Thracian Peltas can do a lot of damage, but they don't have good uh, missile block chance. As you can see, these crescent, sh these crescent shields only give them around a 25% uh, missile block chance, I believe, or max 30, although don't quote me on that. I just know it's very easy to kill them because they have very low base armor value as well, 30 armor. So yeah, uh, strap in boys, uh, and maybe make some hot chocolate or something, uh, get your mom to sing you a lullaby because, actually, no, you don't need your mom to sing you a lullaby because this is basically going to put you to sleep. I'm forced to be very, very, very patient here because I don't have the sheer brute strength in the Step Noble Lancers to charge in and go balls out. Uh, so I need to go balls in, <laughs> shrivel my balls back into my nutsack and try and be as patient as possible. Sorry for the gra fucking graphic description, Jesus. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, target his mercenary Thracian Peltas and target his Noble Swords from behind with my mercenary Amazonian Riders. Uh, noble Swords will take a lot of casualties because I'm using... Uh, no, I'm using regular shot right now. Uh, because I don't want to get in range of his arches, uh, of his, uh, his Thracian Peltas. But still, with Precision Shot, that's 46 weapon uh, missile damage. They're taking a lot of damage there. Uh, but his Mercy Thracian Peltas get one volley off, and that itself is going to kill like seven, three of these guys. Here, makes a critical mistake, chasing off one of my Scythian noble women, and I'm able to charge in with my Step Armored Lancers. Uh, his Heavy Spears lose a few men, done a lot of HP damage, then I'm going to move in with my Scythian Royal Horse. Um, my Scythian noble women are not firing, if you can notice, because I've turned off fire at will for them. That is another critical component of using a, uh, uh, a nomadic army well. So his, um, his heavy spears here get charged at, uh, he still has a 65 bonus versus large with cavalry counter tactics despite Draco, uh, and that means my Scythian Royal Horse lose 5 men, 7, no, Step Armored Lancers, Scythian Royal Horse lose 5 men, uh, Step Armored Lancers down by 10, but finally I've destroyed one of his heavy spears. Here this Step Armored Lancers, I'm going way too ballsy here, uh, I charge in, I have to pull out, they won't take many casualties, they've lost 4 men. But since I've, uh, since I've basically just uh, toppled over uh, everyone that I charged in, they've only taken like 8 casualties, which is still bad. But in a matter of seconds, they can get destroyed. Here, th these heavy spears are chasing after my Scythian noble women. Not really sure why I turned on skirmish mode. If, I ha if they had precursor javelins, these guys would have been dead by now. But again, heavy spears are too far away, but my Scythian royal horse is very slow because they're very heavy. And I'm going to fire into the rear of these heavy spears with my Scythian noble women. They've already got 49 kills and almost a single experience chevron. Another heavy spear is chasing after my Scythian noble women. Uh, and I think I'm going to do the same thing again. Unfortunately, I don't have Draco now because uh, Draco takes a while before it's, uh, you know, before it's, uh, it can be activated again. He's going to use cavalry counter tactics again. That gives him a 75 bonus for his large. Draco removes 10. Uh, which doesn't sound like much, but if these guys didn't have cavalry counter tactics, that means they would have had only a 5 bonus versus cavalry. No, 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 they would have only a 15 bonus versus cavalry, which itself is a huge deal. So yeah, cavalry counter tactics is kind of a counter to Draco, because it simply boosts up their anti-cavalry role so much that even using Draco is not going to do too much to them. Step armored Lance has gotten 73 kills, but lost quite a few men. He's got a box up. Excuse me. Oh, man, I just had a fucking crazy Indian meal. Yo, my sister-in-law though, she makes some fucking bomb ass uh, curries, dude. <laughs> and I'm kind of allergic too. But yeah, dude, the, her uh, have you? I don't know if you guys have ever had paneer, but it's kind of like uh, tofu, which is a lot better because it's fried. 
it's really like it's not healthy at all but it tastes so good but it gives you mad gas though like you know i i, like, I work out quite a decent quite a, quite a lot and my protein farts are nothing compared to my paneer farts cuz yo that shit is like oh that shit's like chernobyl man you don't want to be near me then so uh skithian noble women got 43 kills uh the noble swords that's basically whom i'm only targeting now as along with thresh peltas uh they are the once i kill off the general that will be a morale penalty and he's got six heavy spears that have pretty shit morale uh they have 50 morale with all these experience uh, upgrades so that's a minus 25 uh or i believe minus 15 uh morale penalty when the you guys correct me on that if i'm wrong a minus 15 morale penalty because the general recently died if i kill the general and then i time that in with some flaming shot i've already got a warrior commander or oh, sorry warrior general uh to pop war cry um and uh, then it's they'll probably just chain route that's my that's my plan <laughs> He's down to 69 men. Uh, 59 kills on Skithi noble women here. Uh, this Skithi noble women already a single experience upgrade. Uh, killed off some of the mercenary Thracian paltas, but I think they got a lot of kills on the uh, mercenary noble. Or sorry, on the noble swords. Here, moving in, I can see he doesn't have a uh, Thracian paltas here. I'm just trying to get close enough to his general. I guess I, I guess I switch targets and decide to try and shoot the uh, shoot the Thracian paltas. <laughs> fire why they not firing because fire will is turned off you really can't do very cool guerrilla tactics that way you have to make sure uh, it's turned off uh the royal horse popping draco getting a charge on these uh heavy spears let's see how many men they lose 60 ooh they take a lot of damage and then going to charge in with my skithian noble women they have very decent uh, melee attack and weapon damage 30 34 makes them pretty decent uh in a uh, late game scenario but honestly not worth it i think because they st- these guys still have ammo as from they still have ammo uh so that's a lot of ammunition that i just wasted because once they die that means that's fewer horse archers uh for me to shoot uh, for me to shoot with so i've basically lost a lot of ammo that way 73 kills with them though 82 kills with my skithian royal horse i need to be i need to use my skithian royal horse a lot more conservatively though But you know what so far so good uh, he has no answer to my uh, to me just taking my time and then pouring fire on his uh, noble uh, swords general but i think i've lost uh, like one of my skithian noble women let's see if they've got their daggers out no they still they still have some ammo here again it's it looks like he's pushing through with his armored spears he needs to push away my my skithian noble women otherwise i'm just going to kill off his general but at this point if i was him i probably just ride it off like my general is probably going to die you know like there's really nothing i can do so maybe just box up a bit more and maybe stagger the lines a bit more that's what that's probably what i would do keep his thracian pelt as closer to his general so that they can get some get those all important kills because you guys saw what these heavy spears do with cavalry counter tactics i mean sure they got charged and they got destroyed um but if they were in shield wall and then they pop cavalry counter tactics it's really going to be hard for me to win this game i still think even without uh precursor javelins um at least the armored spears will do very well well these guys are heavy these armored spears should be very heavy to be quite honest some balancing needs to be made for the otherwise pretty cool spears of gedi i wouldn't necessarily want them to have precursor javelins just a mass increase would be cool and now i see his station peltas are getting a bit too out of pocket these guys are getting a little bit too ballsy they're going to get beautiful shots on my uh on my uh, armored lancers but i'm still going to be able to catch a lot of them and i already got a charge on the heavy spears there they're down to 13 men this armored lancer has gotten 57 kills going to pull out lost quite a few men losing more because there are more station peltas but i have gotten a couple of kills on the station peltas too so down to 38 units all in all not bad you know one of the heavy spears is basically dead there but you know these engagements as cost effective as they are going for me i still need them to be even more cost effective because um let's see if i've lost any units no i don't think so i've got this royal horse here that i'm just not bothering about um but you know some of my royal horse are already like pretty damaged like this one 47 um this one is at 
my general. I guess that's the only royal horse that's damaged. So I'm going to charge in with my Scythian noble women here. Destroy this heavy spear again. He's got he he's got cavalry counter tactics. Smart move to use separate spears. Um, just get those all important kills. They're down to 43 men. My Scythian noble women going to lose one more, 42. But the heavy spear I think is finally dead. <laughs> Excuse me for my my sniffling. I've got allergies. There's something in the air, and it's not love. It's loneliness. I'm allergic to loneliness. <laughs> uh, noble sword is down to 54 men. More shots in the rear. They don't like arrows to the bump. No one likes arrows to the bump, but especially these guys. But uh, these women are really kinky. They just like giving it, giving it to dudes in the ass. <laughs> uh, 46 men, uh, noble swords. The mercy station pelt is also going to take some damage uh, in the process. And I think maybe I should fast forward. There's only five, five, five and a half minutes here. That's basically what I'm going to be doing for, uh, you know, as long as possible. Noble Swords down to 40 men. Put this in cinematic mode at the very least. And if I'm not firing from there, I'm going to be firing from this direction. Oh, but his Station Pelters get some sneaky shots in on my Scythian Noble Women while they're trying to fire in. So these Station Pelters getting 17 kills. Ooh, both of these Station Pelters though. Ouch. Scythian Noble Women taking a lot of damage. My ladies, you don't you don't attack ladies. That ain't Gucci. Hold on, this is how shit of a YouTuber I am. I'm gonna pause it and take a take a screenshot. I need to take an epic screenshot. Uh, no, no. Okay, uh, no. Uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Ah, but the fucking ground textures suck. Yeah, this is better. All right. So he's popping rally and uh, race banner. Yeah, just rally, and he's his guy is on shield wall. I guess it's good that he's using uh, commander instead of like warrior or something because he needs the he needs the morale boost, even though it's very little to be quite honest. So now he's going to pop every one of his uh, each one of his units into shield wall. Uh, noble swords down to twenty three man. I'm not going to attack until I kill off his general. There's really no point in me doing that. Especially now that his armored spheres and shield wall, it's going to be very hard for me to, um, for me to, you know, uh, perform cost effectively with my with my guys. Nineteen men left. I guess there are worse barbarian factions he could have taken if he took like Tillis, um, or if he took Boei. It could have been worse. Honestly, it probably might not have been because there's just so many precursor javelins. Look at that poor guy. But yeah, Noble Sword's dead, but the general is not dead yet. I'm still trying to kill him. Five men left. But at this point, I'm almost out of ammo. I believe I only have one horse archer, which I purposely left for late game. I think this is the one um, that has ammo. I'm still not using Flaming Shot because the general is not dead. I'm going to wait until the general moves out. And then charge in with one of my either with one of my step armored lances and then kill off the last five. Meanwhile, I'll probably just take shots on these mercenary Thracians. So yeah, you can see they're going to be taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, see, look at how quickly these guys are dropping. But they probably still have all of their ammo left, which means they're still a threat. They're still a big threat. Is the general recently dead? Eager friends routing. There we go. This step armored lance is gonna say hello. And bid them adieu. Bid these noble swords adieu. I bid you adieu. I bid you sayonara. There we go. General recently died. Now is when shit is about to get real. The flaming. The flaming shot though. I'm gonna drop the heavy spears morale down to 38. And you gotta remember that the general is also dead, so that's even bigger. Of, uh, that's an even bigger morale penalty. And now they're not gonna like these goat-looking cavalry just charging right into them. Pause. Too epic. Need screenshot. But where is the flame? I wanted the flames. Okay, there was. There's, there's a flame right here. Why is it like? Okay. Okay, this is good enough. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
so let's see general recently died they're already down to steady and they're probably going to, they're shaking they shaking they wavering how are they going to chain route with 70 units 69 68 they're not dead yet i'm charging in from all directions step armored lance is here pulling back but the creation pelt is getting lots of kills here um Scythian royal horse these guys are not in uh, they are not in shield wall why are they not in shield wall um they are in uh, they are using cavalry counter tactics they have these guys have somehow withstood this this punishment general dead the general recently died penalty is already worn off so now it's the lower penalty some of my step armored lances are still staying in melee uh this heavy spears is wavering general dead shaken Scythian royal horse taking so much damage so quickly i'm just charging on uh, with everyone now 92 men uh 92 kills on the Scythian noble women then coming in for a second charge here here rear charged with uh, on this uh, rear charge on this armored, armored spear and then charging in with Scythian royal horse the mercilitation pal has almost got a single experience chevron just with this but uh, i'm going to charge in with an armored spear or sorry armored lancer and then kill them off a lot of my guys are wavering one of my Scythian noble women has died um this one the armored spears somehow they were wavering and now they're back you know it's so infuriating he still has quite a few units left again using flaming again flaming is not really doing too much um the effect doesn't last much for long at all here this, this charge should destroy this armored spear though and then i'm going to charge into the mercenization palace and once i've gotten into the into the um uh the spear box then it's going to be pretty easy for me to win so flaming shot in these uh armored spears i'm going to charge in with my general who hasn't done anything in this game they're going to turn around and face my gen with flaming shot on by the way is there flaming shot on? yeah so they're going to pop shield ball he's popped them right at well they've still taken a lot of damage from that i'm sure good lord good lord draco though fuck me these Scythian royal horse is so strong and boom there one of the armor spears is gone Thracian pelt has gone and i'm going to rear charge these heavy spears and they're really not going to like Scythian royal horse rear charging them and i've turned off flaming shot because i'm like fuck it there's no it didn't really work and but this rear charge should do more than enough oh i'm actually using flaming shot yep costly victory to me it was patiently fought um i guess and i almost lost it it was a very pretty victory um which is not good because he had a huge faction disadvantage with Gedai. but he still made it work he did well use shield wall at the right times but made the wrong decisions by um <clears throat> removing his spears out of the spear box and then like chasing after my units and then bringing the bow horseman was a big mistake so yeah, that's the end of this game. Hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Peace.